today on the farmstead, I'm gonna be uh, building a garden gate to get into our backyard area. I'm pretty excited about this project. We've lived here for a couple years now and we've I've dealt with this little fence that I put up. Because I found some plans on the internet for a garden gate with a trellis and we're gonna plant some grapes um, down on either side and then that should grow up over the trellis and it should be pretty cool. So the first step in the process is I'm going to notch the six by six to accept a two by eight. So the way I'm gonna accomplish this is I'm gonna take my skill saw, I'm gonna set it to an inch and a half, and I'm gonna make a series of small cuts, and then I will take a hammer or a chisel and break out the cuts and clean it up. Here's what you end up with. You notch both, notch both sides for an inch and a half so that you can put a two by eight here and a two by eight here. And I just cleaned it up with a, with a chisel and that's it. So these are done for now. We're gonna move on to the headers, the decorative headers. This is how I've laid out the top. Um, I went, this is gonna be a post and then you'll have 12 inches of an overhang and then this comes up five and a half, five and a half, and then I used a five gallon bucket like that to mark the radius on it. So this will be cut out. All this will be cut out and you'll be left with a nice uh, pergola looking, pergola looking arch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna router this. Uh, the directions or the plans don't say to router it, but I think it just gonna, it's gonna give it a little bit more finished look than this straight rough edge. And then here's what it looks like after, after it's routered. Just gives it a little more finished look, I think. Wow, that was pretty fast. The next step in the process for building this garden arbor is the braces, which have a little uh, curvature to them. And then they will go in kind of like that. They'll brace down like that. And then they'll go up and screw into the top part. How you cut those out of a two by 10 is actually fairly easy from the pictures on the website. What you'll do, take your framing square and line it up like that to where both the corners touch here and here. And then you're gonna mark the outside dimension. Throw a nail in 20 inches from your board. Hook your tape measure on it, pencil on 24, and run it across like this and put a mark. And then go back to the center put it on 29 and then go across and make a pencil mark. And that's gonna give you your two arches. So yesterday I set the posts in uh, some fast setting concrete. Um, I dug the holes down about two feet deep. With these um, arch pieces that we, that we cut out, I stained these and I, I just stained these. So these are still a little bit wet. Um, but these go up and I put mine in like this. So this one mounts to here and then I just held it straight and mounted it over here. Here's how the notch came out. I pre-stained all of this just in case any water gets back in there. It'll help slow down the rot. So 
Uh, this one I screwed through this side into this board so you don't see anything on the other side. And then same with these ones, I screwed into them on this side. So you'll see four screws on this. I might even put a black bolt through to keep everything together so that it doesn't warp and twist and pull the screws out. But here's what I've got so far. I'm getting ready to put the I'm getting ready to put the last piece on. Okay, that's going to be a wrap on our garden arbor.